All right, so moving on from light, we want to go to colors. All right, and so when we talk about color here, we're not talking about paint colors, but we're actually talking about color that is in light. So you have white light that comes from the top. And I'm sorry, I do hear myself when I listen to part one to make sure you all can hear me. And I'm sniffling <laughs> and all that stuff. But it's spring and I can't help it. So if we were in class, you'd hear the same thing. So just go along with it. We're almost done. All right. So we have white light <clears throat> that you see from your light outside when you go into the sun or even in your house when you turn on a lamp. It is not just a single color, but it's a mixture of seven colors known as the rainbow. And you can demonstrate white light has this many colors by using a prism. When you have light go through the prism, you'll see all the colors form. So if you've never been taught, the colors of the rainbow are War G Biv. Now most students usually say, what? But Roy, R-O-Y, stands for red, orange, and yellow. G stands for green. And then Biv, blue, indigo, and violet. And so this is what the colors of the rainbows turn out to be. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy, G, F. So how do the colors of light, what do they do? There are three primary colors of light, red, blue, and green. And so you're usually used to hearing about primary colors not being just red, blue, and green. But for light, remember, we're only dealing with light, not paint. That's what it is. So when red and blue come together, they make up a color called magenta or purple. When red and green come together, they make yellow. When blue and green come together, they make light blue or cyan. And when all three of them come together, they make the color white. Now, I know, again, if you're thinking of paint, putting all colors together makes mud. But in the category of light, when you put all colors together, it makes white. So how do you see color? You all don't think about this often, but this is really how you see color. You see what is being reflected. So although the white light or your lamp, all the colors come in, the only reason this homework paper looks red is because the only color that's being reflected is the red light. So color only appears to be what it is because of the color that's being reflected. Think about it. When you're in the dark, at night, in your bedroom, when you get up, you can't tell that you have a beautiful blue comforter. Everything looks pitch black dark, as we say. And it's not until you get enough light in your eyes do you even begin to make out shape in even small amounts of color. And so only time that you see color is when you have the light reflecting that color and then unless you're colorblind and your rods and cones are messing up the colors that you see so let's take a look here we have this purple pair of pants so if we're in light these pants look purple because they reflect red and blue light and that gives us of course purple remember the color wheel red and blue makes purple if we have a white hat <clears throat> and we put it in light it looks white because all of the colors are being reflected up on that hat. So you remember white reflects, black absorbs, right? So because the white reflects all the colors, it looks white. Remember when you mix all of the primary colors together for light, you get white. So look at this here. We have this uniform, a red shirt and a blue pair of pants. The shirt looks red because it's reflecting the red light that's in the white light. And the shorts look blue because they're reflecting the blue light that's in the white light. Well, if we change the light, what happens? So if we put this same football uniform in red light. The only thing that looks the color that it did before is the shirt. Because red is present in the light, so red can be reflected. But no blue is present, so therefore the shorts don't look blue, they look black. So this is what happens when you go to a red light district special. I don't know. <laughs> Not quite sure I should use that analogy. Or if you have the blue light in the basement. <laughs> and if you did, you see that the red shirt would not look red because no red is in the light. So no red can be reflected. Therefore, the shirt looks black. And then the blue shorts look blue because there's blue in the light and the blue is reflected. 
So the only reason you see the color that you're seeing is because that color is present in the light that you're in, and so it can be reflected. So how does this work on your exam? Well, you'll have something, questions like this. If you take a blue teddy bear and put it in red light, <clears throat> what color would it be? Black, because there is no blue to reflect. If we put it in blue light, it will look blue. And if we put it in green light, it will look black. Right, because the green light has no blue in it, so it cannot reflect blue. <coughs> Excuse me. The blue light, however, does have blue in it, so it will reflect blue. If we take a green camel, you should be able to do this by now. Put it in red light, it should look black. Put it in blue light, it should look, yes, I'm waiting on you, uh-huh, black. And then if you have green camel and green light, it should be waiting on you again. Yes, green. And so there you have it. Um, if we put this magenta book in red light, what color would it be? This is one tricky is because red and blue makes purple. So the magenta book will reflect any of the red light that is present. The blue book will reflect any of the blue light that is present because remember, red and blue makes magenta. And then if we put it in green light, the blue the book would look black. All right. So your questions will go, I have an object that's this color. I put it in this color light. What color would, would it look like? So this is where you remember the color wheel and remember that you have colors that make up a color. You have two colors that will make one color <clears throat> and all the colors together make white. All right. So that would be all that you needed to know for the color. We won't talk about filters. And the last thing is just refraction. And this is exactly how it will look on your exam. Refraction is when waves speed up. We're using these words down here to fill it in. So refraction is when waves speed up or slow down due to traveling in a different medium. And then a medium is something that waves will travel through. When a pen is placed in water, it looks like this. And so we're in class, I'll go here and it just shows you that the ruler, not the pen, is bent. So this is why you look different when you're in the water. Sometimes uh, you look funny and it's because the light is bouncing off the water creating uh, bends in the light and so that causes you to look different underneath the water. And so this entire sentence in green you will see and you just have to fill in the correct words. And then the next one is in case, in this case, the light rays are slowed down by the water and are, what? Yes. So, the, in this case, the light rays are slowed down by the water and are bent, causing the pen to look odd. The two mediums in the examples are air and water. Okay. So, that ends chapter 7 and all that you needed to know for it.